I believe I found a even faster way to take advantage of this VC glitch. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Make sure you guys take advantage of this glitch before 2K, before 2K does patch it because you know they're going to extremely soon. Make sure all boys drop a like, drop a sub, turn on post notifications, man. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. As of right now, this is the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitch out right now to run up your VC extremely fast. Now look man, to start this glitch off, the very first thing that you guys want to do, go over to your options, go to your settings, put the game difficulty on Hall of Fame, put the quarter length on 5 minutes. If you're going for VC, make sure you put the quarter length on 5 minutes. If you're going for badges, put it on 12 minutes, but put the quarter length on 5 minutes and get 5 fouls before the third quarter starts. And you guys will see that this will speed up this game and allow you to make more VC. And also, you want to make sure that you guys unlock this quest. It is the um, college flashback quest. You unlock this quest by doing the whole palace quest. And to unlock the palace quest, you gotta become a starter. Now listen, the palace quest, it takes like 20 or 30 of my career games, but in between, the quest when it tells you to play a micro game, all you have to do is foul out and you should be able to get the college flashbacks in like an hour or two if you do it that way. So yeah man, after you guys have a lot of the college flashbacks, you then want to go ahead, go to the plaza, and then you want to go ahead and start your interview. Now listen man, if this is your first time doing this glitch, then you can choose any college team, it does not matter which team that you pick. And then it's going to give you these little objectives to do. You can pick either one. Just make sure you do not complete these objectives because you don't want your college quest to go away. But it's not going to matter. We're just going to quit out of this game as soon as we do this glitch anyway. Now as soon as this game starts, go ahead and press start. Go over to your options. Go to your CP and user sliders. And then you want the CPU to be on Hall of Fame because that will give you the Hall of Fame multiplier even though you'll be basically playing on rookie mode and then you want your user to have all 100 stats. Listen, if you're on Xbox, I've already made these settings for you. Just go ahead and hit search, search by content name, and then type in my channel which is JR Way Too Cold. If you're on PlayStation, I'll also show you the right file or settings to download on PlayStation as well. You can download my settings if you're on Xbox, just type in jr what your code You'll see the, the settings here, and then this is what you want your settings to look like. You want the user to be all 100, but you want the CPU still to have the Hall of Fame stats, just so you get that Hall of Fame multiplier. Now, if you're on PlayStation, you can go uh, hit search as well, and then you wanna find the settings by I'll revert. It says user 100 versus CPU Hall of Fame. And you want to go ahead and pick that file if you're on PlayStation. Do not do user 100 CPU 0 because that will not give you the Hall of Fame multiplier whenever we glitch this to our My Career Games. So keep that in mind. Make sure the user is on 100 for CPU Hall of Fame stats. Now listen man, after you guys adjust your stats, all you have to do is sim to end with no VC and that will transfer these settings over to your normal My Career Games. If you guys do that, it'll say objected failed, which is perfect. This is how we keep our college quest, which allows us to keep doing this glitch whenever we turn off our console or play a park or rent game. So as you guys can see, the quest is still there. Make sure you do not go into your settings and now you want to go ahead and load up your next mocker game. All right, so look, man, we're going for VC, right? So what you guys want to do is to speed up this VC glitch is you want to get five fouls in the first half. Do not foul out or you won't get any VC. You want to get five fouls in the first half and you guys will notice that it will immediately sub you out until the second quarter. So look, man, 
After you guys get two fouls, it will sub you out into the second quarter, spitting up this VC glitch. You can go ahead and get five fouls, but it's not going to matter because more than likely it's not going to sub you back out. Next, what you guys want to do is get up by 25, which should be extremely easy because with this glitch, you should be able to get a lot of steals and you'll be able to shoot and hit every single shot. So you have one quarter to get up by 25 to make this VC glitch go as fast as possible. Like I said, you want to get at least two fouls in the first quarter just so you get subbed out. Alright, so look man, once the third quarter starts, you should easily be up by 25. You're only playing one quarter after you get your two fouls in the first quarter. So you have five minutes to get up by 25 to make this glitch go by and get the most VC possible the fastest. But yeah, man, you guys can see we only played like six minutes. How do you guys get up by 25? Um, you want to go ahead and access them out with BC, you're getting the Hall of Fame multiplier for playing on rookie mode settings. And you guys know that the glitch is working if you're able to get a lot of steals without getting a lot of fouls. So as you guys can see, we did get the Hall of Fame multiplier, and then you can also see how much VC we got for, for playing this game as well. And you also see the Hall of Fame multiplier there as well so you get a thousand vc for playing a five minute quarter so yeah man all right so look man next you can continue to do this glitch as long as you do not turn off your console play a park or red game this rookie ladder glitch will still be applied and you'll still get the hall of fame multiplier so just to show you guys this again you will go ahead and load up your next my career game Now in this game, you guys will see that uh, the rookie mode setting is still applied. You're playing on rookie stats even though it's on Hall of Fame multiplier. And what you guys want to do is go ahead and get two fouls and it will go ahead and sub you out until the second quarter starts. Now once the second quarter starts, you can go ahead and get three more fouls, but more than likely it's not going to sub you back out. So now what you guys want to do is just get up by 25 before the third quarter starts. All right, so look, man. Once the second quarter starts, you should easily be at about 25, and that will allow you to access them out with VC. Whenever you're on defense, just reach. You should be able to get a lot of steals, and then you should be able to shoot basically anything in order to go in. I did not green a single shot, and I shot a bunch of early and late, and we still hit most of our threes. So you want to go ahead and, and access them out with VC. So you guys can see we got 1200 VC that time and you can see the Hall of Fame multiplier is still popping up. So yeah man, you guys can do this glitch for every single My Career game that you play. Also, if you want to play a park, rec, or turn off your console, just whenever you get back on to do this glitch, go do the college quest and glitch your settings and you'll be able to do this glitch again for as many times as you would like. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch while you can. Drop a like, drop a sub, turn on notifications man. We out. Peace.